I perceive that this will be the longest thing I've ever put on the internet. Oh wow. I'm panicking. Put this in the beginning okay. of the video. This is a movie. <laughs> this is a movie. It's a documentary. It's a movie. Come on, I've a Zilla movie in Defu Defu. This is it. Hello! <laughs> Also, you have to be my lipstick check. Me too. I have person. like you know okay. that when like you brush your teeth and then. Are you looking at the screen? <laughs> I'm trying to look into the lens. <laughs> We're holding it. Hello, you guys. Look who I have on my channel. I can't believe it's. Oh no! Let me close that window. So that noise. I don't know why. Do you think that? Oh, right wow, right? that base is yeah. like. Hey, your base is me. Me kuruma. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm running a marathon and now I'm sweaty. You guys, I have got Miss Kiharo in the building. It only took like 10 years. We've never done a Q&A together, right? Ever. Which is wild. We've done videos together, but never Yeah, you've done loads of videos together, but never a Q&A. But yesterday I went on my stories and I asked you guys, who follow on Instagram, to um, ask away. There were lots of actually really good questions. Yeah. First of all, please check. I'm going to leave all her handles, everything, Instagram, Twitter, Miss Kihoro. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, there. Um, but I want to start with something that kind of sets the tone for our friendship. Okay. I'm going to go into my Australian what, accent. What are you talking about? Is yours British? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sounds probably. Little, but mine's Australian, which I do a really good Australian impression. You've been working on it. Been really true. working hard. So mine is not quite British and it's not quite Australian, but this came to me in June of last year and I figured it's like, <laughs> you know those kids who pick up accents from all over the place tv schoolmates uh, traveling and then when they come back they're just like you know what i'm saying so it's like you can't quite place it yeah but it's like they talk like that okay and there's a bit of vocal fry like Wait, on the this end. is going to be the longest Sorry. video <laughs> please everyone grab your drinks cheers babe cheers honey Cheers, cheers, cheers. Grab your drinks. We're gonna be here a minute, okay? So just like get cozy. So this is the question that felt like the obvious way to start this. Yeah. And it's, um, how did you guys meet? You were on stage. That's what I remember. Mm -hmm. I think, what was it? Was it Life in a Single Lane? Life in a Single Lane. Okay, and you were on stage. And 2013. Oh, wow. November. Yeah, and uh, the person I was seeing at the time, I, I mean, I think I was clearly gushing over you and I was like, oh my God, her voice, listen to her singing. Oh my gosh, look at just like her stage presence. She's just so funny, blah, 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 blah. And, and he was like, oh, I know Patricia. And then introduced us um, back in 2013. That's, so I, my first experience of you was like, I saw you on stage and I was like, her voice? You. Yeah. I first met Sharon. That what I remember like as our first meeting was in 2012, November or December. Um, memory is <laughs> It was at the junction. There was a film that we had watched. It was a Kenyan film. I think it was, it was about post-election violence. I was there with my friend Wanuri and the reason I remember that it was either November or December is because her baby had just, she was still months old. Wanuri is not mine. Yeah, Wanuri yeah. baby. And so I was carrying um, cricket and after the film, we met outside, and I had known of Sharon because I used to follow your blog. And I even remember on that day you were wearing that Maasai necklace piece, oh. and I remember seeing it on your blog. What? And I remember I thought, oh, that is so cool. And we met and we had a conversation, and at that time, I was just like, wow, she's such a cool chick. She's what? so like polished, put together, and she's so beautiful. So for me, it was like, a, oh, it's so nice to meet you. Oh. Like, you're so cool. Nice this is a good question. one. Okay. Do you guys talk about sex in your friendship? Asking selfishly because my bestie is too shy and I want to discuss. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. I feel like there's a clear line between Sharon before Patricia and Sharon after <laughs> Patricia when it comes to sex talk, sex ideas ideals ideologies whatever like mm -hmm. i like there's a clear distinction between sharon pre patricia and post patricia and that's because if you've ever met her well one you were like the most open person freest person like i remember like i've sat down with someone who doesn't know you so well mm -hmm. like you're literally meeting them for the first time like a friend of mine and you'll just go straight into like i saw you last night oh, let cool. me just tell you something okay i am and not she gets, in this friendship no you are a hundred percent you are the Samantha in any relationship, in any friendship. And, but not just that, but she's just like the most 
free-minded, open-minded, free-spirited. Like, and and I think this cuts across like everything. So how you kind of show up in a friendship, in in a relationship, whatever you know, in your sex life and stuff. So like, that, it could have been like the third time I met you, and you're like, so tell me about the most. Like, you just like went straight for it, and I was like, what? I'm not even sure I remember your name, babe. <laughs> I think I've, for the most part, been like raised in a very conservative way, and. Mm -hmm. um, which is true of me as well because if I speak about my parents and like how we were raised even like when I had my first period it was very even the conversation around it was like a very quick five ten minute conversation yeah and my mom was just like okay so you know you can't look boys in the eye now eh? full stop yeah. like that's it there was no like actual conversation around it yeah. but for me yeah I think it's it's because I don't think of sex as this salacious thing I just think it's a part of life so it's also like not like oh give me the yeah. juice and yeah. it's just like it's who just so are you? open but I'm so, yeah I'm like, so all grateful. facets of, of, of that and it's not just with sex it's like with anything everything else yeah. that's what I was trying to say okay. and I'm so grateful because I think you've allowed, and I think every woman needs this. So I hope whoever asks this, like I hope you can find your person. It may not be your best friend, mm -hmm. could be someone else. But I, I, I think it's so important to have someone with whom there is nothing that could be awkward, uncomfortable, mm -hmm. creepy, disgusting. Like, I, like you are just. It is the most. Like I have been in the middle of things, and I've been like, I've got to call my friend real quick, <laughs> babe. You won't believe this, and gone to. <laughs> Do you same to my conversation. Same. 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 <laughs> same. Uh, same. Yeah, Except so I'm like I'm like that with everyone. Yeah, yeah. She's like she's just open. I just have Patricia like I just have this person. Yeah. Um and I and I and I I'm so grateful because I didn't even I don't know if I'd have realized I needed it mm. without you coming into my life and just like having so many kinds of conversations. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. And I guess I, it speaks to also the friendships that I had before you uh -huh. because I wasn't always like that but okay, I think yeah. like the friendships I've fostered over right. the years have also just shown me how you can show up for someone or you can be somebody's safe space where they feel like there's mm -hmm. nothing that they can't talk about like you know they can't just if you want to talk to somebody about oh my god I think I have like a jigger anything mm -hmm. embarrassing like I feel like that's what friendship should be like yeah. you, can, you have somebody yeah. or you have people that you can show up as fully as possible so you know cheers to also the people yeah. in my life before yeah. I mentioned yeah and I hope you yeah maybe you could be that person yeah for your friend as well or mm. for other people I don't know but mm. that's yeah so thank you for that do either of you get jealous of your friends and how do you handle it not that I think you are that's what they put in in brackets jealous. <laughs> I'll start I don't I don't get jealous of Patricia's friends and that's because Patricia just is like like I understand my place in her life I'm not the person she's gonna call if she wants to like have a wild night unless it's like 2019 or like an odd time in both our lives where maybe that kind that's kind of what we're after but which is very rare for me but um like I just like you are like a lot more social than I am like I've just always understood I can never meet all of your mm. friend needs mm. um and there's just, yeah, like you're just more open. I, I could never, I just have always understood I could never fit into everything. So mm. I, there's, I, I, and I feel secure in, mm. in us too, yeah. I think for me, maybe the word is not jealous. I think once I understood that I had an anxious, um, insecure attachment in my relationships, I understood the motivation or just even where certain feelings of, for me, my, my, my biggest feelings my biggest negative feelings that I deal with in relationships is a fear of abandonment and a fear of not being good enough or just enough. So I wouldn't say jealous, but just I've had moments, which we've talked about, um, where it just felt like, wait, was I... And when we got to the root of it, because before, in the yeah. beginning, also, because I didn't know and I didn't yeah. understand, I didn't... It just used to be like a pain point, a pain point. In our friendship. In our yeah. friendship and in also several other of my friendships yeah. as well. Um, but that insecure, anxious attachment just meant that a lot of times if, you know, I'd feel, oh, wait, that happened? Why wasn't I a part of that? Am I not good enough for that? Mm -hmm. Am I not, what have I done wrong? Did I do something to, to, to make so-and-so not maybe reach out to me about something and it doesn't even have to be about being a part of something it's just if i find out like this i remember a friend of mine went through a really hard time and i didn't know about it and i only found out from somebody else and 
it hurt me because I was like, wait, did she not feel like I was a good enough friend? Mm. Um, because I, I thought we had a deep friendship. So it comes just from anything. Yeah. Of course, that's something that I've worked on, um, and we've worked on. We've worked well. on. Yeah. I've worked on it in conversations with my other friends, and now it's 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 something that it's still a work in progress. But it's not. Once you're aware of something, yeah. you kind of like, it's a lot easier to kind of yeah. deal with. And, yeah. And, yeah, and it shows up less as well. Yes, yeah. exactly. But jealousy is not the word. Yeah, it's I, I would like, say jealousy. Yeah. Though. Mm -hmm. um, is she your best friend? <laughs> 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 no, I, I feel like I, I found the term for you. What, what is happening? I love you so much. Okay. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> so, do you want to answer that question? You were, you were answering. Are you okay? I was trying to manage my emotions. Okay. I don't know if I'd use... I feel like Monty is my soulmate best friend. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain that. And, you know, like, I've talked about Monty. Y'all know about Monty. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Patricia... In the term, I've kind of... <laughs> Don't mind, I know. No, she's, she's like, like Patricia is like, okay. um, but I feel like Patricia is my wife, mm -hmm. and I feel like even in in the way our friendship has kind of evolved, the yeah. way that we even. I don't know how it's. It feels deep. It feels deep, <laughs> and. Um, it's like Patricia is the person I could be like, oh, babe, I stabbed my toe again. And then you won't believe it. My little finger on the same hand. Like, you know, the most, the things that you kind of reserve for like your partner. Yeah. I feel like I often do that with Patricia. Like, mm -hmm. I, like it could be that, mm. it could be that easy. And so even like the slight bickering, mm -hmm. it's, it feels like, yeah, but she is my person for life also yeah. just to be, yeah. Like, so whether you use the term best friend or not, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Like yeah. I want you in my life for the rest of my life over here. <laughs> Mimi uh sina maoni mengi uh hapa hapo tumefunza nimefurahia sana kwa hapa evening viewers but yeah I, I i feel the same way as well um because yeah the term best friend doesn't really quantify um this friendship but also in in the same way i know mundi is your best friend yeah. that's always been clear like it's never even been a point of like oh yeah at all yeah. but um i i have three wives and you, I call you one of them, right? Oh, I know the, the other two. I know. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I have three wives, uh, two ladies and one gent. Yeah. One very spe special. 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 <laughs> gent. Ah, I am one very special gent. Yeah. And and the reason I call you guys my wives, <laughs> and we've talked about this in our friendship yeah. as well, about how you've even said like the effort it's, it it takes, like this friendship feels like a relationship in terms of like. The effort that goes into it um, almost to the point of it's like being in a relationship with somebody and I kind of feel that way in the sense that when you say Mundi is your soulmate I get it mm. I get it and I and with that thing that you said about understanding people's places in your lives I took like so I know that when you there's one person in your life who's like just easy mm. breathe, like sailing through the sunset and then there's somebody who you're there, like, right, like you've been thrown into the water, you're just fighting <laughs> right the waves, you know? But they, they're yeah. not, like, they don't have to be mutually exclusive yeah. either. Like, yeah. all of these things kind of, like, create the beautiful tapestry yeah. of what your life is and the relationships that mm. you form. So, for instance, like, I've mentioned Wanuri, and I know who Wanuri is in my life. Yeah. Um, even when, you know, as relationships go, you know, there's the ups and the downs. But there's three people who I know for sure, steadfastly, in my life, forever. And I used to panic about, I think this is part of what, like, that fear of abandonment. Yeah. It would lead me into a panic, like, I can't not have you in my life. You know what I mean? Mm. And you know how sometimes, you, when, you want, when you feel like something is slipping away, you get <laughs> even closer and it becomes even uncomfortable. It's like I'm <laughs> digging my nails. Just, like, <laughs> and that's how I feel about these three people in my life. And I love them so much. But then I love so many people. But then there's like core people in my life and you are one of them. Yeah. And, you know, like I, I'm in, in conversation with other people, you know, I'm not going to say, yeah, I, one of my three wives, I'll say one of my closest friends yeah. or one of my best friends. <laughs> Um, and and you're yeah definitely 
one of them and i, I just I, I can't live life without you sharon i can't i can't that's a sort of declaration of love to yeah each other. and so even when like we meet people when we're dating people when we're seeing people um it's like oh so let me tell you about myself um my <coughs> trisha i have three wives these are them yeah you know like <laughs> introduce yeah each other. Well, yeah we take, like, like as like this is my wife yeah and then when wife it's like meet, meet my meet my partner meet my boyfriend this is yeah. my wife <laughs> like it's just part of the package yeah so. this is a good one what is your best memory with her? God, I don't know, but we've had so many good ones. <sighs> we've had, like, okay. there's so many moments of, like, if only we could have filmed this. Just even for myself yeah. to, like, maintain. But I feel like, for me, one of the core, like, I will live with it for the rest of my life is um, New York 2019. Like, there were just so many firsts and lasts. <laughs> I'm like, I'm never doing that shit. Like, Oh, I'm doing it first. Anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna do that ever again. And that's what I think life is about. It's about being intentional about creating and crafting memories. Like you can't, you sure you can go through life and be like, let's have a coffee, let's do this. But the more you're intentional about like, let's hike up Mount Longinot or something. You know, those are the things that kind of live rent free. But like I've had like some conversations when we're not exactly 100%. And some of the, <laughs> some of the things that you say. <laughs> Your favorite memory, what's your best memory with me? Oh, definitely New York. Yeah, that was a good one. Definitely, like, I feel like the moments where we're laughing. Yeah. So we've had moments like that here in your house. Yeah. Like that night when it was like with you and Mutua, Mutua. and Noni oh, and like a couple of other best. people. And we even went on IG Live. It was the best. So Lamu on the oh, tube yes. thing. Good that was such a fun. I actually was looking at Lamu trips because I want to do another Lamu trip later this year. Like I was trying yeah. to set it up and we're like we're doing. And I was thinking we have to do the whole yeah. like the ski the water skiing. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. And Dows and yeah, I that just, was really good. Like 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 there's been so many, but I think the ones that I I I, I love the most also maybe they're not moments that we would necessarily share online yeah but you know when we're having conversations you know most recently actually I, I have to say um this this moment we've been talking and i'm just like so happy and i'm like i'm, I'm like oh. i've been you know i've been writing down dates in my notes what? Like, just like oh, okay like in the last like couple of months oh god it's just been yeah you're so cute is she the fun or strict aunt to your child do you want to answer this um you know I feel great because like <laughs> if you know when I like when okay the 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 happiest day of this year so far has been when you told me that you told my little one that I was coming over yeah. and she screamed she was screaming so I in fact I was like what, what do you think Patty's gonna do <laughs> like I was like what what are your plans with Pat what did she what did she think was going to happen she was so excited because she was um babysitting yeah or like even um like the day I came and picked her up and we just went yeah. and like had an yeah you're not the of, strict aunt um definitely no. I am strict when I'm with her because like oh had, okay she, she knows she's finishing her food you know she knows she's not doing anything that like just because your mom is not here we're not yeah. doing but um yeah I'm not strict but um she knows I'm firm but okay. in a cool, like she, yeah. she's not like looking at me like I don't want to be like, around yeah. her. Yeah, no, you're cool. You're cool. Yeah. Okay. Has your relationship mm -hmm. ever been more than a friendship? Asking as someone in love with my bestie. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she's my wife. Yeah. Uh, you're my wife. <laughs> so is it? It's been more than a friendship. Oh, well, I guess it, I think in the context of this. No, no, we're not in love with each other. We do not have a relationship. Yeah, we're not like each other. secretly like, like hooking up lovers and <laughs> just being like we're just friends on the internet. Oh, guys. Yeah, um, yeah. Because um, I don't think we would be good together. As do you think we'd be good together? I think our personalities are a little too different. We yeah, because there's even a time we discussed living together. Like, <laughs> we could, could I couldn't even live together. with Mondi. You know, raise, raise, raise your daughter together. Yeah. You know, like, like, like. And I and I think the, the the thing that we came to was okay if an apartment opens up here maybe we could be neighbors. <laughs> be neighbors. That would be. Yeah. But I think yeah. yeah. We, I don't know. No, I don't think we could. Be, we'd be good. No. Lovers. No. Or like a relationship, yeah, relationship. I think would just we'd have broken up a long time ago. We yeah. like we'd probably. I we would not have made it. Yeah. As love. Oh. I don't think we'd have made and it. And I as would lovers. just not be getting satisfaction. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, there's just too much about that that wouldn't work for the both of us. Do you see yourselves traveling outside of Kenya together? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, we had a little interruption. Um, do you Sponsors. see your, I was sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> do you see yourselves traveling outside of Kenya together? Ah, we have a trip. We have a trip coming up. And I'm so excited. And the everything is like, the visa is secured. Everything is secured. Now it's just to get there. Yeah. Um, oh. But we have traveled outside of the country together. Yeah, we've been to South Africa, New York. Okay. Yeah. And, and the Indian Ocean. Yeah, Lamu. We've been to Lamu together loads. Or at the same time. Indian Whatever. Ocean. Me, I didn't mean Lamu. Lamu is Kenya. But no, where? Yeah. When we're in the ocean, it's like the Nini boundary has been. Next question. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, I think Patricia and Georgie would make a great duo, not just romantically, but even friends. Oh. You know what? Do you know I was actually, I'm not even kidding. Mm. I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the other day like how the both of you because of your person like you both like to laugh at things that might be questionable from where i'm standing <laughs> no 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 but like you both have like a good sense of humor is really what i'm trying to say great yeah sense of like humor. a great sense of humor i'm i'm not known for yeah. my sense of humor so i was like oh these guys would make like a good something you know we traveled together last year Yes. Yeah, we, we traveled out of the country together last year and it was my first time actually hanging out with Georgie. Yeah. Um, because before it had always been like an encounter here or, you know, we follow each other on Instagram, so like comments here. And traveling with Georgie and just being around him is when I got to like really experience him because social media literally gives you a yeah, you can't tell. In a mtungi. Yeah, you can tell. But yeah. mutu ni roto tank, social media ina kupatia as teaspoon. Bruh, I like, you know what? And this is like, Georgie is such a cool guy, and he's such um, good people. <laughs> like, he's just such a like, he has such a beautiful heart that the, the 48 to 50 hours we spent together. Wow, we've got the numbers down. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Well, yeah, I was every single hour. Yes, it every clearly minute has been was, like, meaningful with this man. Mm -hmm. And I remember. Just thinking, <laughs> you know, I'm very flirtatious, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't even think we flirted. Like he just, you know, when you when you're just with somebody, and it's like, hey, this homie is dope. Like I want this guy in my life. Aww. And like he's just so solid. He's so kind. And then even you know when Rwanda, that's his home turf. I mentioned something. He's like, oh, let me just you, and, and not in a like braggy or yeah. I know that uh, just. <laughs> He's just, just so genuine and he's so dope. Oh my God. Basically, to answer the question, who knows? Aye. Who knows? I went, to, I went to primary school with Georgie. Mm. Yeah. The current Christian school. Really? Yes, yeah, long time. Mulia ago. Dika. Yeah. Zero no, one thousand. Zero one thousand. I think that's the one of their post offices must have that like postal code. Zero one thousand. Uh Dika. Mulia Dika Christian. Uh primary. Oh, wow. <laughs> wonderful. What was the name of your head teacher? Oh. Mrs. Kiagiri. Mrs. who? Kiagiri. Yeah, anyway, long time ago. Uh, you know what? Let me just say this. Okay, so over the years, I have been putting together in my head a room full of people that I would like to sit around a table yeah. and then have them have a two hour conversation about pertinent things, funny things, life, blah, 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 but yeah. entirely in Kiswahili. And oh, he'd be good, Georgie. Yeah, is added to that. Yeah, you, he, you know, you'd be good. I'm not, no, I, me, how am I Georgie having any added, conversation? Exactly, no, but Georgie exactly would be good. that. Not oh, so that okay, we can okay. listen to you speaking so he well, but just to listen to you expressing your yeah. ideas. Uh, in well, Georgie, if you are free soon, Patricia seems to have an invite for you waiting if you're even watching this. Hey, Georgie, yes. call me, call Patricia, I had my idea. Yeah, I mean, um, like you can be my favorite. Okay, can we? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Are we you mad? Okay. Gee, okay. Good morning. Are we getting another edition of Life in the Single Lane? Please tell them what I texted you two days ago <laughs> before I put this out. Right. I think I was even at, at the back of a Buddha Buddha, by the way, when I messaged Stop. you. Stop. Yeah, because I don't have my car at the moment. Me so. too. Yeah. <laughs> my visit the next day. And, I, and I like to take it uh, a Buddha back from the gym. Uh -huh. I'm just like, I just, like, I. Feels good. It feels good. <laughs> so you were 
they're like, babe, do you think you can bring back life in the single lane this year? This was on Monday. Yeah. Today's Thursday. Wednesday. 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 And I was like, yeah, it's actually been 10 years since I did the first one. November yeah. of 2013. And she says, I really, 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 really would love that. Like a lot. What do you need to make it happen? First of all, I was just like, oh my God. I was, I'm so, babe, I'm, I, I can see it. I can see it. And that wasn't the only person who asked about life in the single lane. Wow. Like, if you've been to her show, you know it's so, so good. If you, like, and then you have so much more material. Hey, the world needs dating to during COVID. Yeah. Yeah, I do have material. You have so much material. And I, I really, yeah. I really support the 10 year anniversary, big, 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 big yeah. stuff. So let's well, all just like, you. yeah, let's all like, Pray, remind. And even you know what? If you're vendors, I'm trying to get her to like do some, whatever you can do to make this happen yeah. in November, December. Yeah, we, I actually even told like my BYSS farm. Yeah. Um, because I did BYSS November 2013. No, I did Life in the Single Lane November 2013 with Jason. Yeah. And then BYSS we did Another May. One. Oh, and, and this one is speaker box. box. Yeah, sorry. I feel like there's so many other like. Wait, let me finish what I was saying about okay, um, life in the single lane. Um, yeah, and I told the BYSS guys we first did BYSS in May of 2014. Um, life in the single lane we did November, and I've had. I used to do it with Jason, who's like a BYSS mkubwa yeah. leader, and then I've done it several times since. But the last time I did it was 2019, and I like had. A bunch of my friends on stage with me. Um, did Bian come on yeah, stage? Yeah, Bian was one of the guys. Uh, Noel Berlito. Okay, okay. was a bunch of people. Yeah. And I'd love to do it again. Please, I'll have moments where I'm like, no, it's a mistake. I can't do it. This is, you know, I don't even sing. You even started to, to throw ideas. Yeah, and I'm like, I was yes, like, yes, I, yes, let's yeah. do that. That would be so bloody dope. Because I'm constantly, so good. Like, I'm constantly thinking about, like. See, life in the single lane is not something that I do like, okay, it's time to do the show because, yeah, I could make some money or yeah, da, da, da. Literally, and I'm not saying this lightly, I do that show because I can't not do it. Mm. Like, God is like, it's time. So when he said this to me this year, he's made me make commitments with people. So even when I said the guitarist, yeah. I told her, and this time I'm doing it with a female guitar, she's amazing, and I was like, so I'm, I'm already, it's like, God it's makes happening. me like, put in the foundations, even when I don't want to. Yeah. And that's how I recognize that it's not me that's doing this show. It's literally you just a conduit. Um, of... Yeah, I'm a vessel of whatever it is that show brings yeah. to people. So when I have my moments of, I, no, I don't think I can do yeah. it, please just remind me that. Yeah, like, uh, we, we will. Please, let's just commit to that, okay? High five. Yeah. You but and I, you, we're gonna commit to reminding her. Thank you for asking about it. Uh, thank you for like, Telling me, yeah, and it'll be dedicated to you because actually, that's 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 where your first memory of me. Oh, stop it! Yeah, no. I remember last time in 2019, I dedicated a segment to you. Yeah, I remember. I remember that, and I was trying not to just get too emotional at the front of the stage. You're really good. You know, you can't un okay, I'm dedicated <laughs> to like a list of people. God damn. Ever had an ugly fight, and how do you handle such? How do you navigate personal differences in your friendship? There were actually a few uh, questions around, like, how do you navigate conflict, disagreements, mm. argument? There were lots of things around that. Mm. I'm gonna let you take that one first. Ooh, yeah, we, we've had our moments. I wouldn't call them ugly fights. We're not like the kind of people no. who we are somewhere. It's like, no, no, no. no. I, no. <laughs> we don't fight like that. No, we could. I'm not doing, like, I'm not fighting with anyone like that ever yeah no. but we've had moments where and i think i i also recognize our pattern now yeah um but it's just, what is our pattern it's there's there's gonna be we're gonna be cool 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 then now there'll be like some like the periods between when we speak will be longer and then when we do speak it'll be a little bit measured yeah and then it and then in that time Either maybe you'd have felt like, because you've, you've had moments where you've asked me, hey, is everything okay? Are we okay? And I've had moments where it's like, babe, I don't know what's going on, but this is what I No, we're not okay. You know, we've had those kinds of moments, and then we talk about it. Um, and then when we talk about it, it'll take a, like, we'll hang out a, maybe once, yeah. and maybe because we have book club. Or, yeah. Um, so, it, and in that moment, we'll feel that something yeah. there, and we both know it. Yeah. And then, We'll talk. <laughs> yeah. Really is. She is my partner. <laughs> and then we talk. 
Wait. Mm. And then the, the conversations have gotten, I feel like, and I think this is even how our perspective was different. Yeah. How I would see it is every time we have a conversation and we resolve things, it's like, whew, life is full of hills and valleys and mountains. We are going to, in your life, you, maybe you'll climb 20 mountains with one friend. So for me, I'm just like, okay, we've yeah. climbed 10. We're good. Like now yeah. it's like 10 more, you know, and, yeah. and it'll be easier to climb the rest. Yeah. And I think the last time we had this kind of conversation, the, the, what I recognized about our perspective was, no, but that was a good thing. Like, no, yeah, she's like, good this thing. is good. You see, it's like we're moving yeah. forward and blah, blah, blah. But then I, I think for you, it was just like, I, these mountains are so many. <laughs> Do I really want to climb the mountains? <laughs> Life is supposed to be an ocean with no waves. <laughs> oh my god. Is that, do you feel like that? That is thing? accurate. That okay. part is accurate. Okay. What I'm not sure is fully accurate mm -hmm. is what you've described as our pattern. And it may have been mm -hmm. our pattern. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like that's anymore. our pattern yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really feel strongly like we've kind of gotten through gotten that. Through that. Yeah, yeah. And, but you see the thing with Patricia and I, like we're both like strong willed like we're both we both have strong opinions and things or strong ideas and like and perspectives mm -hmm. and like i i wouldn't say something and she kind of feels some way about it and she doesn't say you know like or, or vice versa yeah. like you couldn't be like i really feel strongly about this thing and if i just didn't agree i'd be like well yeah. you know I'm not really sure that's so i think because of that we are likely maybe to have like more a few more moments of friction maybe mm -hmm. or just like maybe and that's not even the con like we've just had debates yeah but debates even aside because that could also like even with chasing paper books i mm. remember at the start we had to like really iron it out oh, yeah. so that we don't because we were both like but I, this front <laughs> but what about this front yeah <laughs> but even me i don't feel like they did maybe this, yeah we yeah, yeah so we and then we figured it out yeah, right yeah um but what's really different is because with like what you've described about like ease ocean river flowing mm. that's been my experience with Monty, yeah. so that's what I ex expected every, and not just Monty, but like every friendship to be. Mm -hmm. But because Patricia is Patricia, and you, like you know, you've talked about like even like your attachment style and, mm -hmm. and all of that, mm -hmm. there may be things or ways in which you'd show up that I'm not familiar with and used to, and sometimes I would internalize that as like, I've mm -hmm. messed up again, and I've done it, and there were just moments I, like, mm -hmm. I just felt like, will I ever be? a good mm. friend to you mm. based off of like a b c d which is something i only realized in the last a conversation yeah. we had and that's the thing with patricia too like you are going to have to dig to dive deep like it's not going to be surface level um and i really appreciate that too so even in the healing and fixing and mm. like repairing and and trying to rebuild mm. it's not surface what's something that drives you crazy that patricia does and vice versa oh. you can go first <laughs> I don't know. If I was to think about something that, <laughs> and this is the thing that I can be like, what? Open your heart. What? It is. I mean, we just haven't had a moment like this in a minute. But you can, just as I can be, but you can really double down on an idea, a mm. perspective, yeah. a point. And, yeah. and sometimes I feel like there's not enough wiggle room yes. for all the gray that the world has and yeah. the nuance that the world has. Absolutely. And this is something for me, I was also very much that person. And then I kind of spent some time with someone who was like the opposite. Mm. Like if the sky was blue to that person, the sky was actually green. Actually, there is no sky. There's no color to the sky. And let's break down why that idea is just like rubbish. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And to really the point you would like trigger I, I a even, part. Because the first two times we hung out together, Kuliku and debate. And I had to be like, yo, is it me? <laughs> that brings do you out, do this? That brings out this. Is it me? No. But, um, but he was very much uh like a, a contrarian in all the debates we had it made it clear like i need to just step away from assuming that this conversation is about me mm. and it's but that it could be separate to whatever i I've, I've formed as a sense of identity mm. around that topic or mm. the ideas and whatnot so i feel like that kind of helped create distance between me and and whatever conversation we're having um and i feel maybe there are times when if we're having a conversation about a topic there's not enough, and especially if you feel really strongly about mm -hmm. it, there's not enough 
room for nuance or mm. grayness. Yes, that is true. That is very correct. Okay, what's the thing I do that drives you? No, 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 I just want to explain. Oh, okay. That's what you said. Okay, go for it, babe. Allow the nini. Kwa debate kuna proposals? No, debate though. Okay, fine. Sorry, okay, sorry. but just, okay, go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, I agree with you. I think sometimes in the conversation, in the heat of the conversation, it's just like, nah, bruv, I hear what you're saying, but I'm, I'm not gonna, no, I mean, no, like, yeah. yeah. And what I've learned to do now is sometimes just say, you know what? Actually, I know I feel this way. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> Because I've had moments where after conversation, then I go and I'm just like, you know, thinking, and I'm like, oh shit, um, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I could have just like chilled. A yeah. Bit. I mean, I can also chill too. But I also find that attractive about people. Mm. And eh, yes. Una peda gasana debates. No, no. But I like when like there's like, were you watching the presidential debates last year? I just being like, oh my god. No. Oh, Riggi G. No, wow. look, I, I I like when there's like. A bit of tension. Yeah, well, yeah. You, what do I do that drives you crazy? Oh. Nothing. Next question. Have, <laughs> you know? I, yeah, I, I think it could be that. Like, amazing friend. I think it's that. It's that the, like the only thing. Oh, it's the conversation. Yeah, the okay, conversation okay, yeah. things. Because like the, you know, the person I speak to about it is yeah. wife, 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 dude. man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I, I'm very hard-headed, and so I think so it's good when we're in yeah, those we conversations. Yeah. But those kinds of conversations are not are They're never rare. the cause of... No, like, and, and the thing, yeah, 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 it's never. It's just yeah. like we have a difference of opinion yeah. on like a topic that is go the world is kind of getting into. And, we, and it's primarily we are aligned, like our yeah. values are similar, and so we're, it's, it's, it's always just like a little part of the argument that we don't exactly see eye to eye. Mm. What's your favorite thing about Patricia Stroke Sharon? Have we talked about it? I don't think we've done it. I mean, I could go first. Yeah. Um, I think you're such a graceful person. Like, even in the way, like, you see the world, the way you see... What? Like, you're just such a graceful person. Um, you, you've taught me so much about who I want to be as a human being. What? Yeah. Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah. Like, like aside from, like, really just, I'm so glad we're friends. But I also look up to you. In the what? way, girl, please stop. <laughs> no, what are we even talking about? Oh, yeah, man. like you're, you're such a beacon. Oh, I, you're not. <laughs> I'm, not you're messing with you. I'm not messing with you. <laughs> oh no. What is that? First of all, with the judge. I don't know. <laughs> but it's like, like I, I'm older than you. Yes. By a couple years. Yeah. Uh, by three years. But I do look up to you. Like you are so. Like grounded, you're I, like I call you like even just hey I need to run something by you. What do you think about this? Like, but you are so graceful, grace like you you have you just ooze grace, and I see it in the way that, and this is how I know it's real. It's not even like putting up a front. There's things that I've experienced where this chick has like I know she can go fight people on my behalf even before. I'm like, no, I think, look, they are bad. I know she's just genuinely, like, she, she's not gonna instantly think some, someone is horrible. Or she's always just like, let's hear them out. You know, they have a da 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 da. Not to excuse any behavior, but like to, to allow people their humanity. You have such grace when it comes to that. But at the same time, I know that even in the moments where we haven't been okay, I know that if I just, like, Sharon, I know right now I can't stand any many book. But imagine you move to and Fanya Hivi and Shan was like, let's go cut them. Yeah. Let's go cut them. Like how we started with she's so graceful, she's also a bit violent. It, <laughs> it calls for it. Um Yeah, because like you will in the way that you also ex like what when I I know if Sharon really isn't feeling somebody, it's not for a lack of trying. So the grace mm -hmm. in which th that you offer the world, I've I look to you to also like She's an example. She's a good example. Yeah. yeah but like you've taught me so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love okay. it. So I don't. What was the? Which I can't now remember how I was raised. What is the thing I, I love the most? The favorite about thing. The favorite thing about you. Mm -hmm. It is hands down, and I feel like that's this is what makes you the most unique human being I've ever met. I I've never met anyone 
like who like like you in this way you wear your heart on your sleeve and you not only like are open to receiving love but you're so conscious of giving and demonstrating and showing up if i caused harm to someone caused harm to myself did something ridiculous had the most awkward sexual moment it, like there's nothing that i wouldn't feel safe enough to come mm -hmm. and say to you before i start to process how to bring it up to anyone else mm -hmm. um and there's just there's no judgment it's just like love and openness and kindness and res reception you think of anything wild that you could try to do or be curious about or want to have a conversation about there's nothing that won't be like tell me more mm -hmm. how does that make you feel before you even start to offer your perspective even if you did disagree like i could be going back maybe not to it. <laughs> not exactly but like i would <laughs> no, no. i was, was going to no. use the word support no 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 but but you've still shown grace even in like not great like there's still like an openness and like a love and like a yeah i'm here babe yeah. what do you want i'm here yeah. and that's what i'm saying like it's i've never met anyone like that i've never met before you offer like your two cents you're like how does that make you feel? And where are you at now about that? What do you need for? It's like you read those books about like how to <laughs> therapizing people. I'm like, how does she wow. know to say that? How do I get a Patricia stroke a Sharon for me? And I guess this is about making friends. Mm. This is what I would say. Okay. Um, just the same way I say, you know, be intentional. Yeah. But also go with the flow. Yeah. Right. Be intentional with your actions towards finding a good friend. Go with the flow in terms of allowing the universe, God, to bring people into your life. But at the same time, turn that back to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're looking for a solid friend. What are you looking to give this person? Think of yourself as somebody that someone is looking for. Mm -hmm. What also do you have? What are you offering in your friendship? And, in, you know, and, and that way, when you go out into the world, when you have a random conversation yeah. with somebody, it doesn't mean... You are my best friend now. Yeah. But just be open to room for making connections. Yeah. Just and same. going from there. Yeah. But that's beautiful. And I think that applies to um, your romantic relationships as well. Yes. Yeah. Just and so create a list. I'm sure you've seen that video. Create a list of everything that you want in your partner, every, mm -hmm. everything that you want, mm -hmm. and then start being that list. And, and I think you then start to attract, mm. the, you know, mm. these kinds of people. Mm. So, gonna work on two final questions. Um, who can talk themselves out of a traffic violation? First of all, pause. Who do you think can talk themselves out of a traffic violation? Because I'm sure we're all gonna get this right. And then Ooh, let's get let's... themselves into a traffic violation in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, I first of all. Not. Have me yeah. first of all but on the count of three let's say at the same time time after three who will who that person is okay one two three patricia yeah i think i don't i don't like and that's why i will not get myself in a traffic violation because i don't mess with i just i don't like it i hate it i hate the feeling of having to like you know like someone's coming at you with like all this energy and aggression mm -hmm. and i'm gonna show you today I can't stand it. Even when they just stop me for just like regular check, I'm yeah. just already like, don't, don't talk to me. Yeah. I'm not even going to try and talk to you and like be friends with mm -hmm. you. I, I started off with like, leave me alone. Don't like, yeah. And it's, I just don't like abuse of power. I don't like when someone, when I, when I feel like I don't have mm -hmm. equal access to power, but like my, I'm not, you know, like even if I had rights, it may not be, I may not have the space to, mm -hmm. to what? Like yeah. assert the yeah, right that means, exactly. like, actually um, the law. Yeah, yeah. Like it would be like what it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. So I don't I don't that. like it. I don't like it. Uh so I won't get myself in Do you know situation. the last time I was stopped by cops, what it was for? War. They were like, This can't be your car. Oh god. This can't be your car, whose car is this? Mm. Uh you don't look like you should be driving this car and I, and it was two ladies. And I was just like, okay, thanks first of all, thank you for making my day. Because they were like, Okay, yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> thanks, nah. but actually, it's mine. Yeah. Okay, last one. Also, battery is fashion, so you know, we're gonna wrap this up. Do you guys recommend good guys to each other? I don't know as many people as Patricia does. <laughs> Again, remember, Sharon, introvert, bubble, 
this is where I live, like my comp my safe space. Yeah. So I was like, do I recommend Matua or do I recommend David? Matua like, Matua Mandek. I know, I know, that's what I'm trying to say. I have yeah. two like male friends. Matua right. Mandeka, David Morini. Like if you're not the two of them, like uh, I just I don't yeah. sorry. Matua's married, David ain't interested. Like he's yeah. got his thing going. So like <laughs> sorry babes, I've got nothing for you. Okay, new battery is in. Do you recommend what was that question again? I feel like there was a time that you know you were single and she was just and then I'd be like, oh my god, babe, I just like I think would you like to just sample? <laughs> Not sample, gosh. <laughs> These are human beings, babe. I think we But uh, yeah, I've had <laughs> moments where like I just be like, babe, maybe maybe while you are you know, being single, you maybe can I introduce you to somebody just just for you and for Nini? Nini to Nini? Cardiovascular. Cardio. Cardiovascular. Yani misuri zipate mazoezi. You know? Anajua umedaka gym. Yo nitsuri. Lakini unajua sa zikine kuna... They sometimes, you know, they sometimes your blood vessels are connected to your muscles and to, you know, some hormones in your body and you need all of them to just, like, to just kuigisha nini, engine, kukukukunini, system to come a service. What am I saying? I think we all know what you're saying. So there are times she has done that. Um, like, recommended, like, or, inter yeah, I haven't done that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one doing you, you sound like you're my pimp. <laughs> like taking me across no, the No, I'm your friend. No, 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 no. But like, uh, again, it speaks to like Patricia. Um, and just her openness and all the talks we've had. Um, but I don't know if you've recommended a partner. No. And I've not no. recommended a partner either. No. And we don't have the same taste in men either. So even like, I don't know where... Not that... <laughs> not, not... First of all, Patricia all. has a proper type like a, a scarily proper type like it's uncanny how much of a type she has and, and, I, and don't, I didn't I don't think so i didn't think so but you know the it's, proof is in the pudding yeah, you know very like, yeah. clear. Um, oh God. and i don't have i don't have a type very clearly <laughs> i didn't think i had a type i was like you know i mean i'm open to da -da -da -da, but if you look at yeah. my previous suitors all of them could play brothers <laughs> 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 that is so <laughs> right that is so true like is so i'm true. just like ah. our friendship changed from our 20s to our 30s yes and i think yeah. that's like we've explained it yeah um and in our 20s it was like we we're not as close as we were to you know, as we are today for sure true. like it's grown it's evolved. also i've been in my 30s for seven years <gasps> Um, how do we support and uplift each other? Genuinely asking because sometimes friendships are meh. Sharon is like, she's such a cheerleader. Like, oh. they, I don't think Sharon can ever give you an ounce of. Like, the other day I was just joking to her, like, this trip that we're making, and it's like, oh, flight. Oh, yeah. And I was like, actually, but I just found this, like, business class flight. It's only 530k, best deal. I'm gonna book it now. And then Sharon was I like, oh was my god, you're so flying excited. business? I'm so excited for you. I genuinely was like, oh my god, this is where we are. Look at that. Look at what she's doing. Like, I was just like, that is the level. That yeah. is it. That should be the norm. We should just be flying business. Because I really don't think we're both meant to be flying economy. Like, I just don't think, I, really, I don't know. I don't care how it'll sound to other people. Like, I just know in my spirit, I was not born to be flying economy. My bank account differs with me at the moment. Shall we end it there, please? Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure I'm going to add all of this. It's <laughs> too much. It's too much. But, but, be a part a part B. They no, don't even no. have to go like a week apart. They can just be like five minutes. Like they just published, but it's just like. Oh, shall we say goodbye? Yeah. Come in and Thanks like, for having me. You are so welcome. Thank you for coming. And it was just, it was so short, short notice as well. It was like yesterday. I was like, babe, would you film with me? Would you film with me tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Let me put it in my stories today. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. here we are. And then in two days, it's up from like when I posted it to like, it's good because it's going up tomorrow. So I have, this is what I'm going to do this evening. I'm going to be editing. The freaking two and a half hour movie. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you for sticking for as long as you did. Please go and show Patty all the love because love is here with us. Thank you so much. Bye.